Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to talk about the constructor. So what is constructor? The constructor is a function to give some default value or initial value for your object. For example, let's suppose that we have a class called employee. And each employee has two attributes, which are, sorry, name as string, and also blood group, let's name it PG, stand for blood group as string. Mm, the S should be capital, yes. Now, this class has two attributes, which are name as string, and also BG, which are the blood group, also as string. So how can we create a constructor? Just use the keyword constructor. So this function is used to give some initial value for your object. Let's suppose that we have write something like BG equal O. That means if you create any object from the employee class and you don't give any plot group for this employee, by default, the employee will get the plot group as O. For example, function main here and give it parameter okay args a string now let's create an object from the class employee var emp equal employee then emp dot name equal our example okay mariam so I have created an object with the name Mariam. I don't give any value for the BG or the blood group. Let's try to Brentlin emp.name. emp.name will result to Mariam. What about Brentlin emb.bg? In this case, it will print O, but I don't give any value for the blood group because you have used the constructor so if you don't give any value for the plot group, it will take it by default. So let's try to run this example. Yes, as you see here, the name of the employee, Mariam, and the plot group is O. So in this video, we have talked about how can we create a constructor and how can we use it using the Kotlin programming language. See you next video.